previously on Dragon Quest Builders. So many cannons, look at them go! It's funny, when you stand here, you can set three off at the same time, which is really cool. Galileo and Barbella didn't just work together, they were together. I totally called it, I totally, totally knew it. They were just in denial this whole time. <laughs> Oh, what a divvy. It was right here all along. <laughs> Volvo Volti Magi Motor. Oh, this is the thing the monsters stole from the robots. Hey dude, where are you? Oh, you're up there. <laughs> Why are you up there? That was a bit random. Anyway, we got what we came for. Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. I have upgraded the town quite a bit. The inside has changed quite a lot. I might have gone a bit mad with the towers. <laughs> I think I've got like five towers in here, but never mind. I kind of like the, the little walkway that I've done, but I will show you around. It might take me a little while to show you around actually, because I did quite a lot. I spent quite a few hours last night building on this. And Anyway, we've got like a little walkway leading up to the back and it's kind of like half ice, half lava. I just really liked that contrast. Remember when we did the elements room? Well, I kind of did a little element, little walkway bridge kind of thing. And we do have a little fountain area underneath. I like this little fountain area a lot. It looks really cool. And I did like a little pattern around the edge. And yeah, these are our fierce fountains that we unlocked from the ghost lady when we stopped that peeking troll from peeking at that little ghost lady. <laughs> so that was the reward for that. Those um, are the fierce fountains, which I've not shown you guys yet. Anyway, the idea here is to have, I want to have like a garden on each side. So I don't have many flowers yet, but there will be more flowers at some point and on this side as well. And it's really cool how I've done this, but I will show you in a second. I've connected the this, this part here to the tower, but I'll show you. Anyway, inside we have an expensive inn. It has all king size beds, but you know, there's actually not enough beds. There's not enough room for me as well because there wasn't actually that much space inside the castle. When I got to building stuff, I was like, ah, there's not actually that much space, but never mind. Up here, we have the library. We've got all the books at the back. We've got some books here and here and a bench at the back. Oh, and a like, grandfather clock. I thought that would suit. <laughs> and it gives us an automatic HP recovery of one, which is really cool. But that's all I have in this building. I was thinking if we need more rooms later, I could actually build this higher, this tower higher. So that would be cool. And this actually connects to the tower as well. So you can come, come in here and I was going to put some like decorative items or something in here. I'm not quite sure what yet. But this leads all the way up to the tower. So it all connects. It's got like a little walkway to connect it, which is pretty cool down there. And there's also a ladder, so there's another way of getting up the tower. So yeah, there's a that ladder here which leads down to the garden. So I've like connected it all, which is pretty cool. I was actually thinking back here of doing like a little doorway so we can have like a little courtyard back there with like some towers or something, but I'm not quite sure yet. We'll see, we'll see. What else have I done? I've done a little building here. It's just a little building thing. It's got some columns and at the bottom level it's quite cramped in this bottom floor I will say. This I turned into an iron mongers studio which makes equipment more durable. So we have actually two buffs in this room now and how I did that was I added a shop sign and a leather bag and that actually makes this room better. It gives more buffs so that's cool. There is just enough room in here it's fine. There is enough room. And then upstairs we have our kitchen. We have a bodybuilder's bar, we've got a little table here, a little bar here, I put some like teas and cakes and stuff, looks nice, we've got a cook fire, we've got a barbecue bistro, I've got some chests here where they've been making me stuff, and then out here I've got a little deck, I actually just added this deck in because you needed a door to make this into a room, so I actually had to have a door on this top one, so I kind of had to do something, but yeah, if I need more rooms I could always extend these and make them a bit taller, that's my thinking anyway because there's not a lot of room in here which really sucks, and I was trying not to go over this pathway too much because I like the pathway, I need to get rid of that, that looks just horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. And I've got the hella hot baths in here, but I haven't quite finished building this. I'll build this up a little bit and I want to have the welder's workstation on the top floor because I don't have that either yet. I haven't rebuilt that yet. But we mostly have everything we need, so that's cool. I hope you guys like it. I know it's probably this probably isn't my best build. I don't feel like it's my best build, but we haven't finished yet, so you never know. Here we are in our bedroom. They're all asleep. 
this is what it looks like when the rollers sleep i got no more room in here like if we get any more villagers i could maybe put some like little mattresses down here but i wouldn't be able to fit any more king sized beds in which is a shame but i'm not sure what we're doing now in the story because i just got the magi motor thing right oh yes before we do the story, there is actually something I really want to make. I've been dying to make this. Okay, let me show you. My defences have been killing stuff. And as I was like going around collecting the loot, I found a needle and we can make a powy yaoi rug. And I so want to make this. So I just need to go and collect three powy yaoi furs. I really want to do this so bad. So <laughs> let me go through the red teleportal, I think. Kill some of these powy yaois. Just need three of them. And then we'll make a little rug. I think it would look really good in the library, I reckon. But we will see. Let me just kill this one over here. Got me a little... Fluffy Yeti, they look so fluffy and adorable. I would like a teddy of the little Yetis, that would be awesome. They should have done like teddies of all the little creatures, like you know how we had the teddies of the hammerheads? We should have little termic teddies of the Yetis and teddies of maybe even the ghosts and stuff. Like all the creatures as little plushies, that would have been so cool, I would have loved that. <laughs> but the, the rug's cool, the rug's nice as well. But yeah, here we go. We got three. Yay! Let's go and make the Powy Yowie rug. I'm so excited for this. It just looks so awesome. Okay, let's go through here. All right, here we go. I'm making it. Yay! Okay, let me put this down. <gasps> looks so cool. Looks so cool. I think it would definitely look really cool in the in the library. It looks so funny. <laughs> it looks so awesome. Okay, let's go up. Go up to the second floor, it'd look good in the library. Yep, we're definitely going to have it in the library. Right in the middle, I reckon. Right there. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I want more of these. These look so awesome. I love stuff like this. I love cute stuff. And, well, it kind of looks cute and silly at the same time. But let's talk to Barbella and see what she says. You found the plans for a prototype invention in Galileo's storeroom. Quick, Mossy, let me take a butcher's at them. <laughs> Okay, here you go. Yep, I remember we found these last episode. Cool, blimey. These designs tell us everything we need to know to finish building the ultimate weapon. I'm pretty sure, wasn't this said before? Wait, wasn't she trying to figure out how to make something from other plans we made before? I'm pretty sure she was. And then we got sidetracked and had to do that bard thing and something else. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> useless to the last eh? I tried to figure it out on my own but in the end I couldn't finish the job without his help don't be so hard on yourself the man I loved and the man I killed why did you kill him I've told you all about the research Galileo was working on right he poured his art and soul into trying to find a way of combining the powers of fire and ice oh is she gonna tell us what happened but no matter how hard he tried he can never finish the job until you turned up us humans didn't have the power to build that kind of thing. With every failed experiment, his mind and his body wasted away, and there was nothing I could do to help him. And then one day, the Dragon Lords came. Oh no, I wonder if the Dragon Lord like possessed him or something. He told Galileo that if he joined up with the monsters, he'd be given knowledge beyond all human understanding. The power to complete his life's work. Oh dear, it was too much for Galileo to resist. He said yes. Oh no, this is what happened. Ironic, innit? He'd spend his life working on an invention that could wipe the Dragon Lord's army out, but he got so obsessed with his work, he lost sight of his true aim and ended up joining them. We'd better promise each other that whatever happened, whatever we had to do, we'd never let the monsters win. So when he became one of them, I did what I had to do. Isn't that a big stream? Well, I guess, but that's a bit crazy. Couldn't you, like, talk him out of it or something? Like, come on, that was a bit... She definitely took a very drastic action. <laughs> cool, blimey. Why did you make me spill my guts out like that? <laughs> I didn't make you. <laughs> but anyway, it's time to stop moping over the past and start looking to the future. All right, that's more like it. I like this positive attitude. We've got to get that ultimate weapon built and take out the monster's leaders. All right, sounds good. Galileo's got as far as finishing off the Volvo Voltiac Magi motor that was supposed to power the thing. I thought he had to build this, but he could never figure out how to put together the weapon itself. I think we have to make it. So now it's your turn. Time to show us what the builder can really do. Okay, this is it, Multi. It's finally time to put this war to bed. 
were already use that magi motor to build the ultimate weapon and use the ultimate weapon to defeat the magmalis and the fern fiends it's too early no we can't be near the end of the chapter no we can't be this can't be it this can't be it it just seems too fast <laughs> this chapter's probably dragged on a little bit because i was ill and whatnot so like this is dragged out like two weeks longer than it should have but uh, i don't know if i feel like this has gone too fast <laughs> But we might have a little bit more to go yet, I don't know. And I've, I've got some like side stuff that I want to do first. So we might have a little while to go yet, yeah, we'll see. It's up to you how to build it and what you call it. But whatever you do, you've got to get that weapon built. Okay, we're thinking how to build it. So we're going to combine this like Magimosa thing with something. <gasps> oh, we can make the vehicles. Yes, I saw these in the trailer and I was actually wondering if we were going to be able to build these in this chapter or if it was the next chapter. Oh, I'm really excited for this. A bashmobile, a spiked trike that can move at scary speeds, can be ridden to increase movement speed, can be used repeatedly. This is so cool. I am actually really, really excited to do this. This is going to be so awesome. It's like a little vehicle, like a little car, and you can like drive around in it. It's so awesome. Okay, that was what the motor was for. It all makes sense now. Okay, I think when I play tonight as well, I'm going to farm some of those bat things to get this dress because I really want that dress as well. I think that would look really cool. And I'm going to try and finish that last building. And yeah, we've still got some like finishing touches to do on the base as well. I've still got a couple of things I want to add to it but yes I think it will look awesome um what do we where do we build this thing I bet it's on the other one I haven't put the other workbench down so let me put it like over here or something yeah welders workbench it's probably this I haven't actually got one of these down at the moment because I'm rebuilding the room so curious contraption how do we build a curious contraption I don't know how you build that I'm not sure bashmobile Magimota, but we need a curious contraption to build that. Interesting. I'm not quite sure how you do that. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I did actually add water to our moat now, so it's like a proper moat now. We actually have water in there. And well, the cannons kind of broke the ground a little bit and the water seeped through <laughs> over to there, but I actually kind of like it. It's like we've got a little hot springs utopia over there. I actually kind of like it. It looks really cool. The annoying thing about these cannons is because they're so close to the wall, it actually like breaks all the time. All these buttons and stuff always breaks and I'm forever fixing it. It's really, really annoying. That's the only thing that really annoys me about this traps. But yeah, I'm constantly doing this constantly trying to fix it and stuff because the little monsters and stuff are always stepping on it so yeah it's kind of annoying that there's another bit over there that's destroyed as well so I'm constantly checking it fixing it and stuff like that it kind of makes me think that it's not really worth having these traps and stuff all the way around because it's just like a constant fix it's annoying. I think it looks cool though. But yeah, I was thinking of having grass all the way around the outside of here. And then at the very back, I want like some kind of courtyard thing. Like back here. We need a little doorway here or something. That would look cool. Maybe I could do the drawbridge at the back. Or would that seem a little bit weird to have the drawbridge at the back? I don't know. There's kind of like no space at the front though. That's all I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, look. Look. I just fixed all this and then something just must have stepped on it again. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. I'm going to go and see what we have to do next. I think we have to go find this like weird curious contraption thing, but I'm not sure where we're supposed to look. So I want to quickly talk to Barbella and she see if she tells us exactly where we're supposed to go. Where are you, Barbella? I just saw one of them eating an egg. See, how cool is this? You actually see them like eating stuff and actually like doing stuff in here. Look, he's eating an egg. How cool. I love it. I love seeing stuff like that. I didn't notice that before. I don't know if they were doing that before. Okay, it's nearly time to bring this war to an end. If you can build the ultimate weapon. So you're going to tell me where to go. Okay, we use some kind of curious contraption. But the records he left us don't tell you how to put it together. The only way we're going to go blah, blah, blah. Ah, red teleportal. We've got to go in a castle on the other side of the red teleportal. Okay, and it's going to be pretty well guarded. Oh, God. You better take the boys with you. Go on, Multi. Gather up everything you need to make a magic motor. My god, I'm scared. It looks like we're going to be storming yet another castle. So I'm going to stop here for today, guys. We will do that next time. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time.
Didn't even get to oh. run.